How old was Aisha when she had sex? Nine. So at nine, she could have still slept with her brother because she was seen to be a child. Do you want to have sex with a child? No. Why not? It's an abusement. So this is what Mohammed did. But then you deny the conclusion. And, and that's not logical. If the, all the evidence points to a conclusion, you shouldn't deny but the that conclusion. Was that's what Christians think. If they have read Why the did they think it? Because he made a person. There you go. So who deceived them? Allah. There you go. You've got it. Yeah, I, just, I just want to quick add something quick. Yeah. Uh, in our time, Islam is not the same as Muslim. Because Islam teaches us not to hit in the face, the face is house. Uh, even a proud Christian, no matter what you think, it's haram to punch someone in the face. Yeah. Uh, and there are many people, are Muslim people, who are still fighting, which is that's not Islam. Many people don't portray Islam. Islam is a completely different so, thing. So I agree. Yeah. I agree with you that there is a distinction between Muslim and Islam. And, Islam. Thank you. and I agree that not all Muslims are the same. And I think that there are many Muslims who are better than Islam. Better than Islam. Because they're better than Muhammad. Because Islam teaches that you could... Let me finish. Islam teaches that Christians should be made second-class citizens. It teaches... It, Islam teaches that you can buy and sell slaves. Islam teaches that you can marry children. Islam teaches... Islam, Islam teaches all of these things. Yeah. I have a verse. Yeah. That they call out to marry a woman when she... Uh, get to her puberty. When Aisha was man, she was already in her puberty. Right, brother. Because I think that's a thing. Brother. How do you link someone using menstruation and puberty to that being um, physically meant and mentally okay to do? What's the link? That's why he He's had not be sex into God with her. He had a sex into God with her. When she was nine. Yes. She was nine. There you go, we're not making up. He's just saying yeah. 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 it. Yeah. How can he marry her yeah. at yeah. six? Right, yeah. tell me, tell me. One second. One second. Yeah. You say that Aisha became a woman at nine, correct? Yeah. yeah. But she married her in, married her at six, correct? Yeah. One second. Marry, yeah. Can a child consent to marriage? Well, what do you mean? Consent. Consent. Can a child I, I agree. I agree. Can a child agree to marriage? Uh, okay. Look at look Can a child yeah, agree to marriage? According to the story, uh, Aisha was given by Abu Bakr. Right. She was given by Thank you. Right. So, so she'd had no consent in this, did she? Uh, I don't know. Well, she couldn't have. Child, children. Look at it, brother. How? Well, one, bro, bro. Please, please. One second. Aisha, yeah. at six years old, yeah. cannot consent to marriage because she's a child. Right? Uh, exactly. Now, but, how can it so, a child? but, but also, a nine-year-old is still a child, biologically. A nine-year-old is biologically. Yeah, but we are talking about the time before. We're talking a so long time ago. So it We're not like time longer. up now. So, so it took them longer yeah. to mature. Yeah. It took them longer to mature before. Because their diet had less estrogen. So women actually mature later. Women actually mature later than now. Even okay. even before so even before Islam, 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 every religion had a higher age by which before you could even have sex. The Roman Empire. The Roman Empire. The Roman Empire. Yeah. Twelve, thirteen, and fourteen. It went up before Islam. Before the seventh century. Yeah. By the time by the time that Islam came along. Yeah. In the age of consent was 14. They did not mature. So, 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 so the point is, Aisha was a child, bro. Mohammed had sex with a child. One, one, one other thing, one other thing. One other thing. She was nine. Because I couldn't. I Wait, guys, guys. Right. Stop shouting at him, everybody, and you find your own debates. So, so my point, my point to you is this: in Sharia law, what is the age by which you separate boys and girls in the bed, according to Sharia law? It's ten. At ten, you separate boys. How old was Aisha when she had sex? Nine. Nine. So at nine, she could have still slept with her brother because she was seen to be a child. Yes, exactly. So Muhammad had sex with a child. Do you want to have sex with a child? No. Right, why not? 
It's an abusement. So this is what Mohammed did. He abused a child. Aisha, we're talking about Aisha. Yeah. You know who she is. She wasn't a normal child. She was a child. But according to the Islamic Sharia, yeah. Yeah. She was she was a smart woman. Yeah. She was a she when she was 18. No. Yes. No. She yeah. Wasn't, she was smart enough. What, uh, according to who? Well, and according to when? Sharia. She didn't really come to Islam. So when did when did Muhammad die? How old was Aisha when Muhammad died? 18. 18. At that point, she becomes a narrator of hadiths about Muhammad, correct? Because before that point, Muhammad is alive, isn't that true? So when Muhammad dies, Aisha becomes a narrator of Muhammad's life, is that correct? Because before that point, Ma logically, logic, it's logic, bro. Muhammad is alive until Aisha is 18, agreed? When Muhammad dies, Aisha is 18, agreed. When Muhammad dies, Aisha then starts telling stories about Muhammad's life. Is that agreed? Yeah. Right. So the assessment that is made about Aisha's intelligence is because of how she was at 18 years old, because she remembered these stories. In other words, it's too late. The fact is, the fact that she remembered lots of stories at 18 doesn't mean that she was an adult at nine. Yes, exactly, it makes sense. My point to you is, what's your name, bro? Omar. Omar, you seem like a nice boy. You seem like a good man. My advice, if you saw, if, if you went, if you said to yourself, I want to become fit, and you went to a gym, and one instructor was a fat slob, and another instructor was really in shape, which of the two instructors would you choose? The one in shape. The one in shape. Yeah. If you went to a gym and one instructor was a fat slob, he looked like me, yeah, fat, fat, yeah? Uh, fat, yeah? yeah Out of shape. Yeah. And another instructor looked like Ross, he prayed, I want to do your will, Father, like a good Muslim. Yeah. That's what he prayed. Yeah. So he didn't pray, I don't want to be crucified. No, no. So the Muslims that tell you this are lying to you. No. Yes. Allah. Then Allah is lying to you. No. Yes. There is no scientific proof. I'll prove it to you that Allah lied. No. I'll prove. Yeah, what does it say? Okay, I made an accusation. It's saying in your, um, That's right. It's saying on your Bible perspective, Jesus has been crucified, okay. Yes, Jesus was crucified. I'm a Muslim, I, I, don't, I don't believe in New Testament. Okay, testament. according... I believe on the Injil that came to Jesus. Would it, would it be worthy of Allah to deceive people? Sorry? Is it worthy of Allah to deceive people? Deceive. To lie to people? Would, uh, would, an Allah, would, would Allah lie to people? Right, right. Was Jesus Christ crucified or did Allah make it look like someone else was crucified who looked like made, Jesus? Made, uh, someone look like Jesus. And did people believe that Jesus Christ was crucified because Allah made it look that way? Uh, I think so. Yeah, you think so? If I made it look that one thing was true when actually something else was true, is that a lie? Yeah. Then there you go, Allah lied. <laughs> Let's go through it again. Let's go through it again. Yeah? You're a nice guy. Yeah. Right? Be we gentle. Like we like him. We like yeah. him. Yeah. We like him. Right? Well, I have a good ethics, but I'm not coming to Okay. Peter, so, so listen, listen. 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 Would Allah lie to people? No. What is a lie? A lie when you share fake, fake news. Yeah, when you share facts, fake news, yeah. fake, fake facts. facts. Yeah. Did Allah convince people that Jesus Christ was crucified yeah. by making someone else look like Jesus? Exactly. Yeah. And but when in truth Jesus wasn't crucified. No. Right. So Allah made people believe something that was true that was false. Is that correct? Yeah, he made people believe Jesus was crucified when it wasn't. So he made some people believe something false. Jesus was crucified when the truth was he wasn't. So did Allah make people believe something that was true that was not true? It's not the truth because... Exactly, it was not true. And, and did Allah make that happen? Yeah, so Allah lied. Yes, think about it. Now tell me, according to Hadith science, according to the science of Hadith, if someone in the Hadith chain is a known liar, can you trust them? No. Wow. Is the Quran, according to the Quran, described as a hadith? Yeah, the, do you know that the Quran describes itself as a hadith? Uh, no. 
Yeah. Right, it it's does. The word of God. It, no, it, it, it describes itself as a hadith, a report. Yeah. Yeah, that's what the Quran says about the Quran. Yeah. Allah says in the Quran that what hadith will you have apart from this? So where, where's the seed? Okay, can someone, can, can I borrow someone's phone? Could you go, please, sir? Yeah, can you pull up where um, the Quran describes itself as a hadith? So what hadith will you believe, Quran? So my point to you is, the Quran describes itself as a hadith, and in yeah, hadith, well, and in hadith like, science, of it, someone else told. Yes, exactly. So that's a lie. How can you tell that, that Jesus, that was Jesus? How can you tell? Uh, uh, because of if your religion is true, Allah lied. What? If your religion is true, Allah lied. Yeah, but you say it. Allah made people believe a fact. But that's what no, Christianity he says. made so no according to your religion Allah made people believe something that was false. No. Yes. Was that's Jesus false. was Jesus really crucified? No. Did people that, that's the fact. That's Yes. True. Right, right. No, wait one second. Brother. Okay, let's just pretend we're all Muslims yeah. and we all agree that the Quran yeah, is so true. Jesus wasn't crucified then. Right. Did Allah make people believe that by presenting someone like Jesus? There you go. That's so that's lie. the lie. That's the lie. Yeah. That's a lie. Yeah. 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 And the truth coming from Christianity, the Bible. Allah is the best of deceivers. So some some translations say Allah is the best of deceivers. Let me. I know what to type, bro. So, can, can you understand the argument? 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 Okay. So let's go through this. Let's go through. Let's go through this step by step. Let's, well, listen to the logic. Come and have a. Come and have a decent conversation. Right. Okay. So listen then. Okay. Right. So let's go through this. Let's go through this step by step. Two thousand years ago, according to Islam, Allah sent a prophet called Isa. Two thousand years ago, Allah saved Isa from being crucified by taking him up to himself and then putting someone else on the cross that looked like him. him. Yeah. Are we all agreed? Yeah. Right. right. So 2,000 years ago, people believed that Isa was crucified when he was not crucified. Agreed? Uh, yeah, that's according to Christians. No, that's no. That. No, that's according to your Quran. Quran doesn't say crucified Jesus. No, I didn't say that either. I didn't say that. I can't even realize. Like, brother. No, bro. Right. He's, 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 the logic is sound. I know. The logic is sound. He's just, he's just, he can't, the reason why he's having, he's having, this is cognitive dissonance at its best. You're not even telling me what that's, uh, that evidence is. Listen, it's your own Quran. Yeah, let's, let's pull it up. Let's pull it up. Right, you, since you are interjecting into this conversation, let's talk to you. Tough. You're inter if you interrupt my conversation, you join the conversation. If you're interrupting my conversation, you join the conversation. Are you in this conversation or not? Then don't interrupt. Otherwise, I stand next to you and I debate you. Because you are interrupting a conversation I'm having with him. Yes, you are. And you're being rude. You're being rude. You're being rude. You're being rude. Rude. I'm not. By the same trousers. I bought them on Amazon. Right. Can I show you? Good tactic to calm the situation. To calm the situation. Red is a very powerful. Right. You win every debate. We're going to pull up the verse now. Yeah. If you don't want to get involved, don't get involved. But don't say to me you don't want to get involved and then get yourself involved. Yeah. Well, you're getting involved then, aren't you? Yes, because you're interjecting. Right. So, no, brother, you're, 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 brother. Everyone on this, everyone who's listening to this conversation, can follow the argument. Yes, you can't realize because you, the the reason why you're having this cognitive dissonance, you can't realize, is because for you, you can't say Allah is a liar 
but yet you the example that I've given demonstrates that Allah lies okay. and so you can't okay. reconcile these two facts. Yeah. This is the Quran, right? Your Quran. So this is Well no no, show me the Arabic one, yeah. Uh, yeah. What verse, yeah? Four one one five seven. Four one five seven. Yeah. Where? So Bakara. Yeah. yeah. So remember, Allah is describing something that happened 2,000 yeah. years ago, that, and Allah is saying Allah, that Christ that's wasn't that's crucified. That's right, sorry, sorry. He made it look like someone else. He made it look like Christ was crucified, and thus he convinced everyone that Christ was crucified by making it look that way. That's a lie. Allah lied 2,000 years ago. Bang to rights. He's a liar. And can you trust a liar according to hadith science? Because it's continuous. What do you mean? This is uh, you know when you this is you have to bring the first one. When you read the first one, yeah. as in the context. This context. Yeah, yeah, sure. Yeah, but well, you can do that. Yeah. 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 They say that we have killed the, the Messiah Jesus. Why did they say that? Why did they say that? Because. Jewish and all those people were there, yep. they were believe oh, they have been crucified. Why did they believe he'd been crucified? Why did they believe he had reading, wait wait why did they believe he had been crucified? It doesn't say at that time. Read. It doesn't say at that time, okay. What do we read? Yeah. Yeah. According to Allah, they haven't killed him or crucify him. How you can son and they did not kill him nor they did crucify him. Yeah, right. And then what does it say? Here, Keep reading. It what does it say next? Next bit, yeah. straight away. Shubhya. He made to Exactly. So yeah. Allah made it to seem like that. It yeah. says it, Jesus did not die on the cross, but Allah made it seem like he did die on the cross. That's what that verse says. So yeah. Allah so, know, Allah, so Allah lied 2,000 years ago. Oh, you are getting involved. Right. Let's we're, we're talk to him. You are getting involved. We are getting involved. You like involved. to talk to me. I know that you're you like talking to me, but I don't like to talk to you. So, so, so no, 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 no. You, 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 you wanted to jump in. You wanted to jump in. Like you want, like you, like like you want to heckle from the sidelines. You want to, you want to, you want to, you want to heckle, but you don't want to debate. If you want to debate, debate. But if you're just getting a heckle, stand over there. Hit and run, hit and run, hit and run. Right. The truth is, as a Muslim, I believe that person, that person who Allah made a person, yeah. I believe that I believe that person has been crucified, not Jesus. What the truth in here? What's the lie? So the lie is, here's the lie, right? Let, let's stand let's stand over this way a bit. Let's stand over this way. Come over here. Come over here. So you wait you've asked you've asked me the question. Yeah. You've asked me the question, yeah. right? You've asked me the question. Like, where no, you've asked me the question, where is the lie? I'm gonna tell you where the lie is. Yeah. If I made it appear to you that this guy was a Muslim and you gave him five pounds and then it turned out he wasn't a Muslim, yeah. right? You put your you put your trust in the information that I gave you, right? You put your trust in the information that I gave you yeah. and you acted on that information but it was wrong because I misled you. That's a lie. That is exactly what Muhammad did. The reason why Christians believe that Jesus Christ was crucified, if the Quran is true, is because Allah made it look that way. Yeah. Yes, there you go. Yeah. So that's a lie. So why Christians, Christians in the first century believe that if the Quran is true, Christians in the first century believe that Christ was crucified because Allah convinced them that he, they were being crucified. And that's a lie. Yeah, but there's the Quran, it tells you he made a piece so he exactly. looked like him. Thank you. Exactly. So that's the lie. The lie is he made something that was false look to be true. That's a lie. Now my point to you is, it wasn't until the time of Muhammad that the, the real truth came out. It wasn't until the time of Muhammad that the truth came out where Allah said, no, no, you didn't crucify the Messiah. You say you did, but you didn't. I only made it look that way. Yeah. And that was in the seventh century. So Allah deceived the entire oh, world for seven the centuries. One who been crucified is false. Oh. Right? But my, my point to you is, if Allah was willing to lie to the Christians, how do you know he's not lying to you now? If Allah was willing to lie to the Christians in the first how century, you know how wanted, do you know he's not lying to you now? How do you know Allah wanted to lie to you? 
Because he admits that he wanted to lie. He says he wanted to lie. He says he lied. Yeah, but uh, that's according to your faith. According to your faith, that you have been crucified, which is not true. According to your faith. But if your religion is true, Omar, if we if we pretend for a minute that we both agree yeah. that your religion is the truth, yeah. so let's pretend we're both yeah. Muslim. Yeah. That means that what we're saying is that in the first century, 2,000 years ago, Allah made it look like something happened that didn't happen. And then for seven centuries, 700 years, people said, we crucified Jesus. And they said it because Allah made it look that way. Yeah. Yes, and so then, that's a lie. What do you mean? A lie. How is that not a lie? How is that not a lie? How is that not a lie? To believe people, I don't believe. You're the one who believes Jesus was crucified, not Allah. Not Allah. No, Allah deceived people to think that they had crucified Jesus. Allah deceived people to make them think that they had crucified Jesus. Yeah, which is right. right. So there you go. So if I'm right, then Allah is a liar. Now, according according to Hadith science, can you trust a liar? Can you trust? No. And Allah is the one that gives the report of the crucifixion. I can't even understand what they're lying here, bro. As a Muslim, I believe that person can be crucified, not Jesus. Okay, I think, brother, we can't progress this argument any further because it seems to me that I, I, every I point, understand. every point that I make that demonstrates that this is a lie, you agree is true, but then you deny the conclusion, yeah. and and that's not logical. If the all the evidence points to a conclusion, you shouldn't deny but the that conclusion. That's what Christians think. If they have read Why the did Quran, they think it? Huh? Why did they think it? Because it made a person. There you go. So who deceived them? Allah. There you go. You've got it. You've got it. He deceived them. Yeah. But if he... But that jump, you know what's the purpose of sending this message? But if he... Allah never have been uh, one to tell you that has never crucified Jesus. Yeah, but he allowed people to believe that he was for seven centuries. People died yeah, thinking not, that Jesus wasn't was crucified. Jesus. That wasn't Jesus. That's the Yeah, lie. it was Allah was the liar. What do you mean? Uh, you've already seen it, okay. bro. You've because already Allah seen it. Knew you know, that are that, that going to be people yeah. who believe Jesus have been crucified for you and for all our sins. Here. Yeah. They send this message to his Muslim not to believe what Christian said. Yeah. Because if Allah didn't send this message, I would believe a lie. If Allah didn't send this message. But, you, but the point is, Christians believe a lie because Allah lied to them. Yes. There you go. Yes. Thank you. So it's Allah a was a liar. So Allah, Allah was a liar. I'm not accusing Jesus of lying. Oh. I'm accusing Allah of lying. Yeah, I, I, no, I'm not uh, saying that at all. Yeah, that's what I'm, I'm, not that. I'm not saying that. I'm not saying that. Anyway, no, Omar, believe. it's really lovely to talk to you. you. There's no, we can't progress this argument any any further. But I, I just want to give you this book. No, bro, it's a gift. It talks about the very thing we've just been talking about. Did someone else die on the cross? Have a read of it, have a think about it, and try to think for yourself, Omar. Don't just think about what your shakes tell you, try to think for yourself. All right, look after yourself, you're a nice guy. God bless, take care.